Ladies and gentlemen, the nose. Julian, Julian, thank you for your time. What is a nose? You, that's your job title, you said. It's correct to, say, to call you nose. So what do you do for a living? Uh, I mix ingredients. And, sorry, I get it. Hello, hello, don't worry. Uh, we create perfumes. We create perfumes from uh, botanical distillation, from synthetic ingredients, from different molecules. It's a, a world of chemistry that you, you have to create fantasy. You have to create a, an emotion through with a perfume, you know, with a scent, with an intangible object. Because in our imagination, perfumes are made like in the movie, the perfume, in a little room, mixing up things. How far is it from this? No, it's uh, pretty much uh, very similar. Because perfumes, uh, the concept, uh, I can have it maybe on a flight, traveling, uh, or wherever I am, but then I start writing the formula and, and, and approach to that concept, and then in the lab you actually start a first approach of that idea, you know. But uh, the creation of a perfume can happen everywhere when you start getting the gymnastics. So. Yeah. <laughs> Are you aware you make a whole group of millions of people dream with your inventions? Uh, have you ever thought about that? Uh, I don't know if millions, but we have uh, 60 perfumes in our brand. So we have different uh, standalone boutiques, so we have a lot of contact with our uh, customers and, and we see we actually can experience this emotion from the direct customer. It's not that we sell to perfumeries and then you never know who end up using it, you know. So it's very, very uh, interesting for us to, to have this direct contact and, and feedback, you know. Yes. So we're in Cosmoprof and here the whole thing is about beauty. What is the scent of beauty? <sighs> scent of beauty is a, is a scent that doesn't cover for me. It's a scent that allows each person to, to expose its own, its own scent, you know, to amplify something that could amplify its own uh, personality, no, not something that covers and as, a, <laughs> as a plaster on top of, of your own personality. But, uh, so usually are very light scents, transparent scents, aquatic, not overwhelming. Is this also the trend? Is it this world? Is it going towards that? No, because you can do, you can have that uh, as a as a characteristic of, in any style of perfumes. So in a gourmand, sheep or whatever, using heavy woods, you can still get transparency. But if that's your intention as as the creator, you know. But I try to look this level of of uh, layering with your own sense, so more more natural. This is, sounds all very interesting, but unfortunately we don't have so much time. I would like to spend hours getting to know more and more about this. For the moment, I must say thank you very much and thank you for your time. And hopefully we'll get to talk to you soon again and get in more details about this. Thank you, Julian. Ciao, grazie. Ciao.